Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this series, we're doing some instructional videos on how to edit the sounds on your Roland FR1X. And before we can do that, you actually have to have the software that's going to allow you to do that. So what I want to do now is show you how to get that software, how to get it installed so you can run it. Okay. So the first thing, and, and by the way, this software is all free and it comes from Roland. Okay. So the first thing that you have to do is go out and download the software. So, and I'm going to show you how to do that. You're actually going um, to start your browser. You're going to go to www.roland.com and hit enter. So what you see now is the Roland site. You want to go to support, updates, and drivers. You click that, you will go to the updates and drivers for all of their products. Now, you're going to have to scroll down, and, and we did this in another video when we downloaded, like, the Alpine set and, and, and that. But you go all the way down into the Fs for FR1X. Uh, FR, where are we at? fr one X V accordion and you click on that it's going to open up and there's a whole list of things that you have here software that you can use here we want to come all the way to down here to where it says fr 7x 3x 1x set editors because that's what we're going to be editing we're going to be editing sound sets if you click on that, it's going to open, and it's going to say this is for Windows and Mac. Uh, there's a reason you can get this. It, it's a Java program, so it's platform independent, so it'll work on a Mac or a PC. You click I agree, and you click download the file. Shortly, it will begin. We're hoping. And you see that it has downloaded the file. So it's now downloaded the file onto the computer. Now, it's wherever your computer is going to save it. And usually it is in the downfold, downloads folder. So here it is. It's a zip file. A zip file simply means that it's a compressed file, so it doesn't take up as much space. All right. We have to unzip that. So if you simply double click on it, it will show you what it what's there. We're going to extract all. It's going to say, where do you want to put it? I'm just going to leave it in my download folders folder for now. So I can show you that it just runs from wherever you put it. Extract it. Boom, boom, boom. And there it is. This is now in my downloads folder. There's the zip file. There is the folder for the editor. If I open it, you have the Mac OS version. And you have this version. Now here is the set editor uh, documentation. And here is the program. It's a JAR file. That's a, a Java file. Okay. Now, all you have to do is have Java on your computer. If you don't, you can go out to www.java.com and download it there. It's a free download from there. If it is there, it's going to show you that this looks like a cup of coffee here. Okay. 
when you double click on that, the program will run. Double click, there it is. There is the editor. We're ready, pretty much ready to go. Now there are different editors here. You can edit the FR7X, the 3X. We're going to be talking about the FR1X. So if you click that, so okay, please remember what I've selected and then open the editor. This is what the software looks like. Boom, there it is. Let me get rid of some of these windows that I have open here for you. And there it is. If you have by chance opened the wrong one, you can change the model by clicking here and it will tell you, okay, so you want to open this one or this one or this one. Now notice this is for any of the one X's. Okay. So it's for the piano accordion or the button accordion, either one. So when you open it, you get this window. And we're going to go over these and, and how to edit the information and how to, you know, put it back into the FR1X, how to get information back and forth. But that's going to be another video. Right now, this is just how you went about downloading the software and installing it. Now, you will have homework for this. The homework is you have to create a folder. Don't care where the folder is, but that's where we're going to put the stuff so we know where everything is located. Okay, so right now, that's everything is in there. If you have this screen, everything is working, and we're going to go from there. We will actually create a set in the next video. So thank you for watching and please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below and I will try to get to any and all of your questions that I can. So thank you and keep playing.